All right, so we're gonna start this out by just giving you a little preview of where we're hopefully going to end up at the end of this tutorial. Um, by the end, you should be able to have a model that is completely rigged with 52 blend shapes using Faceit, and you should be able to control it just using your webcam uh, for facial expressions as well as rotation and translation. To give you a little preview of what it'll look like at the end, Let's just take the model that we've already rigged up. Just go to face it, face cap, make sure that's all set up. We're just going to open hallway, go to customize, and go to OSC. We're going to turn it on. Now, Rain, she disappeared. So we're going to hit dot to recenter. And there we go. As I move my head, she moves her head and she's tracking all my movements inside Blender. Fairly real time. Uh, that's because she's got kind of an aggressive texture bake, but we'll cover that later. So we're gonna stop this. And we're going to start at the beginning. Don't save. So, yeah. In order to get started, the first thing that you're going to need is to use Blender 3.0. In about a month, the plugin Add Routes is going to be updated, so it can run on 3.1 or 3.2. Um, but today, you're going to want to use 3.0. You're going to want to go to Hallway, go to Downloads, and download Hallway for the Mac. And if you're on PC, uh, just join the waitlist. We're actively developing that right now, and we'll send you an email when that's out. After you've installed Hallway, you want to go to the Add Routes page and install that. Once that's done, you're going to want to install the plugin inside Blender, and then we're going to connect, just in this video, the translation and rotation. Uh, in another video, we'll talk about how to actually wire up blend shapes. The format for getting the information out of hallway tile and into Blender is as follows. We're using the address HT for translation in the XYZ. One thing to note is that in most games, Y is up. So in Blender, Z is up. So a lot of time, so what's going to happen is when we wire this up, XYZ is going to map to hallways XZY. And rotation is probably going to have some of the same problems, but we'll deal with that once we get there. So to get started, I'm going to open up Blender. Got both versions, but you're going to want to make sure that you use Blender 3.0. And we're going to start with the default scene. In fact, I think what we're going to do is we're just going to make this box uh, translate and rotate. So step one is to go to File, actually no, Edit, Preferences. I've already installed Add Routes. But for the sake of completeness, I'm going to remove it. And we're going to install it from scratch. So we're going to go Install. Find where you downloaded the plugin. And you open the zip file. Don't unzip uh, the plugin. Open it up, and you're going to want to make sure that you click the checkbox to enable Add Routes. After that, it's very important. You want to go down here and say listen on and just use the default setting. If you want to like specify a unique IP and port, you can do that, but you'll have to make sure that you copy this address into hallway tile. And I'll show you a little bit about that later. So one, and then sometimes you got to restart. I think since I've already installed it and uninstalled it, I'm going to be fine, but you're going to want to restart Blender before you continue. 
So you're going to want to click the cube and over here go to Object Properties and here you can see your transformations. So location X, location Y, location Z, rotation in X, rotation Y, rotation Z. So right click on any one of the locations and go down to the option where it says Create Real-Time Route. Once you've done that, if you go over to your panel and you go to the Add Routes options, Project Routes, you're going to see that it created a route for us. We're going to select OSC because that's the engine that we're using. And remember, we're using that address HT. So we're going to say slash HT. And then after that, just a little bit of explanation to what's actually going on here. So the way this works is that everything in this block is actually referenced by an index. So location X is index 0, location Y is index 1, and location Z is index 2. And here you would say this is where you would actually select locations that you want to map to and from, right? So setting this index to 0 is going to map to location X, but if we wanted to map that to location Z, we'd set that to index 2, and that would map to the Z location. So we're going to start with the X. We've already specified our address. And then down here, it's the same thing, except this is referencing the locations of the translation coming from hallway. So 0 would be location X, 1 would be location Y coming from hallway, and 2 would be the location of Z coming from hallway. So we want to map X in hallway to X in Blender. So index 0 to index 0. And then after that's done, it's all set up, we want to open up hallway, go to customize, you're going to go to OSC, and you're going to enable streaming. Now, here's the point at which if you wanted to use a custom IP and port, you could specify it here. But just remember, in the Add Routes settings, you're going to want to make sure that this address matches what Add Routes is listening to. So, after that's done, we're going to go back into Blender, and we're going to click Receive. Now, you can see that as I move my head left and right in the x-direction, the cube is also moving left and right in the x-direction. So that was the first one, and that was fairly simple. So next, let's go ahead and turn that route off. I'm going to click over here on Translation. We're going to say Create Real-Time Route. Same thing as before. OSC is our engine. Our address is slash HT. We're wanting to map Y. So we do index Y or index 1 for location Y inside Blender. And then, like we talked about before, in most games, Y is up. So while Blender, we're going to reference index 1. In Hallway, we're going to be referencing index 2 for the Z index. So Y and Z are flipped um, for hallway. This might be something that we find a more creative way to simplify later with some sort of transform. But for now, uh, you're going to want to map the Y translation in Blender to index 2, which maps to the Z location inside hallway. Click on Receive. And now, as, as I move my head further or closer,
is tracking the Z. And you can see that updating here. The other thing to sort of um, know is that the way we're doing the calculation of the y translation, it's basically your distance in the negative y direction from your computer screen. So the closer your head gets to your web camera, the closer the box is going to get to zero. Go ahead and zoom in on that box. And then if you want to see how that looks with the X, we can enable the X. So as I'm moving my head around, we're getting translations in the X and Y directions. All right, for the last one, go ahead and turn these off. Turn OSC off for now. And we want to wire up the Z location. So create another route. Same as before, engine is OSC. Our address is HT. Inside Blender, we want to map index 2 to hallways index, which is actually 1. Again, because the Y's and the Z's are flipped, uh, we, have to, we have to do this. Go back to hallway, turn on OSC, hit receive. So at now, when my head goes up and down, the cube is also going up and down inside Blender. So we can go ahead and turn every single one of these on. And now we're getting, we're getting positional tracking in all three dimensions inside Blender. this off for now. The last thing to do is going to be connecting the rotations. So, same as before, we're going to select the box, make sure that we're in object properties, we're going to go down to rotation, we're going to right click, Rotation, and I'm going to say create real time route. Now, the address for rotations is slash HR. Add routes is smart enough to give us this option to convert from degrees to radians. In hallway, I believe we are sending radians, so we want to turn that off. Um, our engine needs to be OSC slash H R for rotation. And let's just see what index zero to index zero maps to. Okay, make sure OSC streaming is on. So what you're seeing here is pitch is being tracked, which maps to Blender's rotation X. So this. So pitch maps to X. So that looks good. Let's go ahead and turn that one off. And let's do, yaw. Create real time route. Engine is OSC. We want to map to the Y. Our address is slash HR. Let's see. I believe this might be flipped, but let, let's turn it on and see what happens. And ah, 
rookie move. We've got to turn off the degrees to radians calculation. So this one actually is reversed. So if you can see this in hallway, I'm turning my head left and right. But in reality, um, that's off. Again, that's because the Y and Z axes are, are flipped. So the index is actually going to want to, you're going to want to make the index too. So that maps properly. Okay, so after that's done, let's turn that off. Our last one is to do map roll. So create real time route. OSC slash HR. We want to map to our Z axis. And then this one actually is going to be index one. We turn it on. And now we're getting the head left and right movement. Can turn all three of these on now. And you can see that as I move my head around, actually, I can turn video on real quick. Oh, that doesn't work. It's broken. Uh, <laughs> bug report. Um, as I'm moving my head around, uh, the cube is moving around. Putting it all together, we go ahead and enable our translation in the X, Y, and Z. Do, 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 do. There we go. I'm able to move my head around. Translation, translating and rotating. And it's mapping inside Blender. Now mapping like sensitivity and units, that's something that we should go over in another video where you would actually, instead of controlling a box directly, we'd control an empty box object, and then we would bind that empty object using a constraint. And using that constraint, uh, we can adjust sensitivity and scale. And that concludes this initial setup video. Thank you.